Hi, everyone. I want to take a few moments and share with you the new Kodak Picture Saver Scanner drivers for the Mac OS. This will be for versions 10.13.3 and below. Um, first thing we want to do is um, we're going to need to go over and navigate to find those drivers. Um, you can do that uh, probably most simply by just going to the um, uh, search engine. I'll use Google in our existence, and we'll just look for Kodak. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's do download Kodak PS50 software, or that could be PS80 software, either way. When we do that, the one first thing you're going to do is say, go to the Kodak Picture Saver Scanner support drivers. This will immediately take you to the Kodak Alaris website in the support area. Um, there, you have the opportunity to access all the applications. The newest Drivers for Mac will be located right here. And the new software for Presto Page Manager will be right here. You will need to download both in order to uh, effectively be able to run your picture saver scanner from Kodak in the Mac OS. So make sure you download both. All right. So um, once you've gone through the uh, download process, you will um, be presented with the opportunity to install the software. I recommend you install the Presto Page Manager software first. And uh, when you do that, that will be this link right here. And when you go to install it, I've already got it installed, but when you go to install it, it's going to say this is from an outside source. That's not a problem. Um, but before you do this, if you have been working with Kodak Galaris's uh, Picture Saver Scanner on your Mac prior to this, and you are now updating, you need to make sure you take all of your pictures that are in the Presto Page Manager Page Manager folder that will be in your documents area and make sure they're backed up because they will get written over in this process. Go ahead and make the installation at that point, and then you'll go ahead and download the Kodak um, software driver, and that's at PS uh, version 3.1. Um, what I will tell you when you when you do launch this is it's going to navigate and tell you that you have uh, an application from outside source. You use your control and click to open it and run it anyways. Okay. When you do that, both the applications will download. Uh, and install and the drivers at that point, you will want to connect your scanner to your computer and launch the Presto Page Manager application. With the Presto Page Manager application, you will have uh, full access to the uh, file area here uh, where you can connect to your scanner, where you can set your scan settings. This works just like before. Uh, you can prefix your name, your, your uh, scans with a name. You can put a prefix number on there. In addition to that, you could um, choose various output types. You can adjust certain qualities, and you can use the manage the profiles. Lots of information out on the internet about how to use the profiling, so I won't spend any time on that. You can hide the dialog box and force it to choose each time if you have lots of menus or if you just want to choose from the menus here or make your own recipes. You can choose where you want to scan the images, where the images are going to go once they're scanned. Uh, I use the my page manager uh, is my default, and then from there I can move them around anywhere I want to or put them in my uh, photos, apps, or whatever. All right, so at this point, um, we can go ahead and uh, say OK once we've got that set. Then what you would want to do is you go ahead and you can fire up your scanner. I'll get some pictures, and we will drop in a few fo photos here for us to take a look at. I'm going to go ahead in this sample and scan them using um, 300 DPI. You certainly can use uh, the 600 or even the 1200 uh, setting, but this will be the 300 DPI. All of this information that comes with the Presto Page Manager can actually, you can um, take it and, and stack it if you want. You can delete it if you want. Um, really, at this point, uh, it, you can choose what to do with that, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. And then we'll go ahead, and at this point, you can use the scan button or you can use the acquire button. We're going to go ahead and use the acquire button. Um, the images will um, launch. 
and scan, you'll see them start to pop up immediately onto your palette. And at that point, you're all set and ready to go, uh, and you can keep scanning away.